What's up, Zox fam? Now, it's been about two weeks since our last video, and I'm actually really excited to be back into the flow on the channel. Now, we've been doing a lot of uploading on my Zoxiscon TV channel, and it's been a blast, dude. It's been an absolute blast, and I really want to like talk about the reason why I felt like I kind of wanted to take a break from doing some dislike stuff while we had the Celestial Anomaly. I, mean, I have been playing in the background, so yeah, it's not like a I'm quitting video. Like, don't think that by no means. <laughs> it's not even where we're going at all. And in this video so yeah make sure you guys watch this in its entirety so that you can give your full feedback because i really do want to know how you guys feel um but i just wanted to give you guys my feeling on celestial anomaly the nerf with you shoe um the implementation of this new unit that's coming uh you know for the next portion you know just kind of the fan service thing there uh and then of course just talking about what led up to me wanting to take this break why i felt like it was necessary i mean i do feel rejuvenated I ain't gonna lie to you guys, but I just really wanted to talk about the state of the game um, and just how I kind of feel like certain things might still kind of and just truly and just being truthful with you guys. I, I don't want to ever lose that transparency with you guys, but I feel like the game is still in the same place in a sense. And, and I want to kind of talk about what I mean by that. Um, now, there's obviously the revenue thing, which again, on CM, they actually did pretty well. Um, but man, like on global, we've significantly have dropped. Right. And I think that that's another thing I want to touch on. So there's just so much to get into into this video, but we're going to go ahead and talk about all of it. All right. So first things first, what exactly led up into, you know, led up to me taking that period of time well one it was i just had did the 30 day series uh for dislike that was like that was crazy 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 on top of everything else i was doing it was just like okay man like uh I, i'm gonna focus on my other channel because there is a new game uh weather and waves they had their closed beta so i do uh, and did i'm still working on that but uh i still need i actually needed that time to be able to work on that and to get the information and record videos and figure out what i was going to be doing with that channel um which again that's something i've been preparing for like the last year so that was really really important um but everything thing with celestial anomaly season one just kind of ripping that band-aid off I, I felt like season one doesn't even remotely compare to season zero right and the thing about that is that like i feel like for those that played season zero you completely get what i mean right there's obviously the battle pass thing which is completely different like they made that i would say like probably better right to some degree but even then it's like the event itself is just what we already have again and that's kind of one of the issues that we have that i've personally had in the game like everybody has made it where you know like at one point and i'm not speaking to those of you guys that are here or um even all of you guys in general but i got a lot of pushback when i was trying to bring that to the forefront um you know i was always putting out super positive content and making it about the game right not just about my personal feelings but just everybody how does everybody feel and i realized what has kind of ended up happening was that i ended up getting labeled as like the guy that's trying to tear down the game when all i've ever tried to do is build the game up and make the game better i always try to give constructive criticism because i want to see the game do better and like with anything when you're getting the same things over and over and over and over, you get bored and you're not going to want to play, um, you know, might not play as much. And then it starts asking or begging the question, why am I pulling on the gotcha? Why do I need this new unit? Do I really care about false settle fantasy? Do I really care about, you know, hitting max, you know, damage cap numbers on, uh, you know, like say, uh, what is it? Uh, club content. Like d does that even matter to me? And so I feel like that's another reason why we've seen such a massive decline on the global side, because we've been dealing with the same stuff over and over and over and seeing hasn't experienced this that long yet they are just now seeing chronos and a pep and fafnir whereas we've been going on like for me personally i've been going on like seeing these same pieces of content and bosses reused for the last three years and so it really really does put a damper on the experience when something like new like celestial anomaly season zero or season one supposed to be out but then the first thing that we fight is literally what we already have to farm on a regular basis right so chronos it basically is literally chronos with an extra unit and then these additional buffs it's basically what it is and i feel like that's just the the hard truth the harsh truth the reality of it 
there is no way to copium this there is no brighter side to this it is just the same it's copy pasta and the thing is is that do i mind playing it not in the sense of like it being easy content like yeah i can just get on slap my units on here it's auto fest right but in terms of like trying to keep the community alive, energizing us, making us excited to talk about the game, making us excited to want to play the game, the content isn't doing it. I'm just being real, right? The content isn't hitting and giving us something new. Um, and I think that I can even argue this even further, right? So obviously we have Kronos being reused and we have had bosses reused for like the entirety of the game, right? Kronos is getting reused. I'm pretty sure they're going to probably reuse the other bosses in the next phases. We'll see. Um, but then even down to like our trial, our trial event, right? So currently on the trial event, which I need to go and finish myself, but it's just Fobiter again, right? And we fight Fobiter and uh, every single month we fight Fobiter on both. Uh, I think it's a uh, tower, a uh, temporal tower. We fight Fobiter and Falsetto Fantasy. We fought uh, Fobiter and uh, club content. Um, we fight Fobiter now in our events. So real quick, I'm just select these buffs randomly, right? And this is because I want you guys to see what I'm talking about. Like, th and, th and this is like part of the thing for me that was kind of like, okay, let me take a breather away and passively play. Cause I have been playing in the background. Um, but like, as far as like going crazy, trying to sweat videos and stuff, I just haven't really been feeling like it. Right. Um, but again, it's Fobiter. <laughs> it's literally Fobiter with the same sleep mechanic. Like, you know, it's, it, it's not anything that's making me say like, oh man, I totally want this unit. I told it, it, it's, it's the same stuff. And, and I don't know how else to, how else to try to give constructive feedback or try to rectify or make the content better because i feel like every time we've tried to do that we don't get any results so it doesn't really encourage any of us i mean whatever you know ccs are left at this point um to really want to advocate or push for things because every time we do we'll spend hours and hours of time doing that i've wrote in pages um you know of just what they could change from end game to uh, mid game to early game to make the game better um you know and none of it's been used i mean not just me but like uh you know homies like sturby for example did that with pvp to try to rectify and change the pvp situation none of that inf information was used so it's just kind of one of those things where we're kind of faced with that dilemma is that at what point is dislike going to start giving us fresh content right like when are we going to start getting content that isn't the same or reutilizing the same bosses but in a different named game mode right and so I think at this point it is becoming a thing where it's like people are very aware of it and they're becoming bored, right? I, I think that that's a fair statement. And this isn't looking at just PvP, right? Because obviously PvP has its own issues. Like PvP, PvP is still a mess, right? Like PvP isn't fixed. Uh, we we obviously I think at this point we've coped so much is that we like and I'm not gonna say we, but overall there's been so much cope in PvP that you don't hear as much about it and. It's even that, right? It's like, what is going to be done about that still? Like, there's still a lot of things that I'm not going to let up because I think it is important that as a community, we get the issues that we need fixed, especially for those that are putting money into the game and you're investing your time into the game. And this is one thing that I've learned over time is that, yes, you, you know, you might not be putting money into the game, but your time does equate to metrics, which equals to money for these companies. So, yes, Lil of Games gets money off of you playing their game. This is how they get different endorsements and sponsorships and they use your playtime as a way for you for them to benefit or thrive off of that it doesn't always necessarily have to equal dollar signs but it could equal to sponsorships or opportunities for the company that equals dollar signs right so that's why it's the the perception the perception that free to play's opinions don't matter it's not true because there is a very very set in stone metric based off of playtime that's really really important how much time are you spending on the game how much money you know then you know are people spending on your game like all these different things matter so everybody matters is the point that i'm making and so whether you're a person that plays for the story whether you're a person that plays for the pve content which typically pve story kind of go hand in hand pvp is the same as its own thing with knockout point or beat bout 
I mean, you know, there is the issue. I know there's some people that don't really like the system for gearing and beat belt. And, and so it's like, there's so many different things that I feel like we still need to flesh out within the game. Is the game in like the, you know, the worst state it was in? No, not necessarily. But I also feel like there's always room for improvement and they could be doing much more and much better. So with that being said, I feel like ultimately, like leading up to my break, a lot of it had to do with one, like I said, I had to cover and make content on weather and waves, but it was also part that I really wasn't really intrigued with the Celestial Anomaly. Like I, I honestly, like the unit, yeah, like Suju is like amazing, like a great unit, but it's just that I, I don't, I don't feel like, like I'm doing anything challenging or new and I'm not feeling excited to jump on video to show you how to fight Kronos again. <laughs> like I think that that's like the thing it's not it's not like it's a beginner's guide like this is supposed to be the, uh, the event and in-game players are supposed to be doing this and I'm not gonna lie like what reason would there be like there is there was no real reason for me to make a video like I'm like anybody that's at end game is gonna clap this uh, uh, a thousand percent right um and so I think that that's kind of one of those things where even when we're looking at the end game content that does come into the game it's not anything fresh or new Right. Um, and that is just for me personally, is just kind of leading to to boredom. And I, I, I love dislike. Like, I, I think that that's the thing that's so like disheartening about it is that I really love the game. I love the designs of the characters, um, the themes, the concept potential is there, but the execution is just not there. And it, so it just kind of sucks to see. Um, and then, of course, that gateways me into this nerf with Yushu. And I'm not going to lie. I already kind of figured this was going to happen just because of the fact that like once you started doing like started performing at a at a at a point of where like people are scoring super high. <laughs> I felt like, um, you know, it's one of those things where I felt like because it was a free unit, it shouldn't have been as crazy. But this also kind of goes into the point that I always make is that there's never proper testing done before the unit gets released. And so when the unit gets released and the unit is doing something unrealistic, now there's this, oh, we need to recall or we got to, you know, revert back. I always feel like these things should happen no matter what. I feel like they should always happen before they hit live servers. I, I never really like when they go live and then they have to nerf them because what it does is it sets people up for failure in a way like they basically will start utilizing the esper they're getting these higher scores especially like if you're free to play and you're finally able to take advantage of and we're able to make something work finally because realistically when we're talking about the super super end game players we're able to get the ex plus 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 pluses like the super high damage you know millions of damage and stuff like that because we just have stuff right but for those that don't have stuff and are trying to work their way up, I feel like this nerf primarily happened more so because CN is a fresher server. So having them super scale or doing certain things too early might have been an issue in their eyes. But I also see how this says negatively or can negatively affect just overall that experience for those that aren't as lucky to get certain things when there's already uh, players that are performing at such a high caliber. Um, and so that, that you kind of have an issue on both sides. And for me, it's like, OK, you're going to have to start doing a, a little bit more like in this. And I'm saying this in general, not so much for Yushu, but if this ends up being where it's a character that comes from the gotcha. Other games will refund players, not just the resources, but they're giving them back their currency too. Like that's going to need to be the standard when you have a unit. If you are going to go that route and say, okay, we're reverting that unit back or we have to nerf this unit. If people, cause this has happened where units come out and they're like, oh, this is too much. If a person is pulling on the gotcha for the unit, by all means, I think it is, should be required that they get back their currency they put into the banner. Now, with Yushu being a free unit currently, it doesn't matter that much in terms of the return value. The only thing that really sucks is the fact that players have, have gotten accustomed to using a unit, got the unit to do certain things. They've probably seen certain videos of the unit doing certain things. And then now the unit is no longer uh, performing the same way, right? Uh, and I think that the unit isn't going to be like in the dirt bad but it's not going to be exactly the same right and i think that that's kind of the point there so all in all i just hope that they they, they just do better like it's like they have the people if they just gave us the stuff that we needed for the test server like i've been asking for for like a year now 
we could make sure that these units before they even hit official server were properly tested so that people aren't having this situation happen because i've been seeing that a lot like people are so disappointed by this change and it's just kind of like i get it you don't want anyone adjusted especially when uh you know you finally have gotten them to work for something so i, I think that that's just kind of that point that i'm making there but that's all i gotta say about that let me know how you guys feel give me whatever feedback that you guys feel um, you have i will try to give it to the developers i still am able to get in contact with them and we'll see what happens it's it's worth still trying never know it might be worth um but you know nonetheless time will tell but of course next up we have the new unit that's going to be coming into the game uh this unit is going going by uh fumusuki um also kaguya hime and the interesting thing about this this esper is that they go to say to protect the land from degradation to oof to safeguard peace through the throughout the nations so I, I i feel like the model here is a little like if somebody actually says uh says it shout out to neon for saying it but it says the model is giving basically team rocket from pokemon which i found to be kind of funny and i was like okay like that that's a little interesting i, I hey i'm not mad at it um, i'm kind of wondering though like if some people kind of did point it out like whether or not this is going to be a four or five star I'm not really getting five star vibes, but again, I could be wrong. It could be a five star. Um, I will say for me personally, I'm still waiting for Fushi and that other dude that was floating with the the stones or the energy around him. Like I'm kind of waiting for those two um, that they actually tease. And if I'm not mistaken, I think they have them right here in the background. So yeah, this guy right here with the stones and Fushi, that's who I'm really looking forward to. I'm not going to lie. She has to be a five star if she's sitting here. She has to be like she has to be a five star. She's not really giving it and she looks like slightly different at this angle. But I mean, hey, we never know. She might have like a really, really sick ability. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see what she's doing. Um, and that should honestly probably determine a lot based off of what she's actually doing. But I would still say I'm waiting for Fushi and this guy. That's who I'm most excited for. Um, but nonetheless, I like again, like the character designs, we I feel like overall hit, right? Like we really haven't had it be like this thing where like the new characters coming in don't look cool, but it's just the application of them. Like, what are they going to? Are they going to the same content we're already beating already? Like even the new content it's just the same stuff that looks the same so it is just a lot to kind of think about but nonetheless the unit does look really really good now of course with all that being said i want to make sure that i do talk about some of our future plans um with what we're going to be doing on the channel just as far as dislike um you know other content i'll be uploading on the channel how often will i be uploading dislike um and i feel like it's not going to be as often as I have been like I feel like for the last almost three years um, I've been pumping out dislike content like crazy man like like seriously like every day I was trying to manage doing like three two to three videos a day and I'm just gonna slow down I'm gonna really try to make sure that I'm putting out solid videos I'm not view chasing really at this point I'm really honestly trying to make more quality content and I want to also make sure that whatever games I'm playing I'm enjoying and I want to make sure that I'm opening up up opportunities for myself to be able to cover other games on this channel specifically so there are a couple of games that i am looking at uh, like for example uh, astra um, the knights of verde um, we're gonna have a video coming up for that i also am still looking at a game that you guys have probably forgotten about but um this game is actually going to be some heat when we finally get it to uh, uh well i'm trying to think i think it's going to be going into a beta from the information that i got recently um and the game that i'm actually referring to is ethereal restart so yes that is still a high prospect on the channel um i'm just waiting for some of the feedback there to know like what information i can give you guys but i will have a video coming for the uh knights of vera um i I'm actually really excited for that game and just kind of like just having a different game to play um i really have like like i said i've been like hardcore going crazy with dislike and i still plan on covering dislike this isn't like i'm quitting video or anything like that but i am going to be becoming a lot more intentional with the videos that i put out i'll probably be doing more polls um just to kind of get like throughout the week 
what kind of video topics do you guys want me to talk about when we're talking about guide stuff? Um, and as well as, of course, I'll keep you know consistent with the, uh, you know, when there's new things to react to or new content in terms of units or events and things like that. So you'll obviously see bursts when those things come out. But when there's like not really much going on, you're probably not going to see like me trying to have a video out every single day. I really am trying to make sure that whatever I deliver to you guys has more quality and you will be seeing other games on the channel. Um, I I kind of came to this like conclusion because I really want to make sure that every single video you guys watch from me, you're having fun, right? You're enjoying it. Uh, even if it's a game that you might not play, but you can sit there and you can watch it and still enjoy the video for what it is. Um, you know, even trying to get some more editing quality in the videos. I am trying to get that over to this channel. If you check out my other channel, Zoxicon TV, there's a lot more editing quality over there. Um, and so, yeah, I, I really am just trying to breathe more life into this channel. I want to find a game that ultimately you guys can enjoy in conjunction into, you know, as well as with this light. Um, so I'm really excited, man. There's just so much to look forward to with the rest of 2024. We have a lot to get into. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of touch bases with you guys. I'm really hoping that for the next part, it's much better. I want to come back. I want to have a better opinion and thought of everything that is currently going on with the game. I just hope that they really take a look at a lot of these things and they just implement better content. Like, I, I think like, yes, it's nice that CN's here. Yes, you should cater to them, but we're still here too, right? So I think, you know, again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. That's going to be that with this one. Everyone, stay blessed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.